What is going on guys? We've got another case for the iPhone 15 Pro and it's gonna be one from Mouse. Of course, this brand has gone insane when it comes to the cases and they've actually worked their way into some of my daily drivers. But let's go ahead and get right into it, starting with the packaging as always. So pretty much the same as last year, classic green box, Mouse branding right in the center. And I can already tell this is some very nice recyclable material. So absolutely love to see that. And there it is. And of course, the first thing you see on the back is we're getting greener. So you guys can pause and read this if you would like to. I'm not gonna get super into it, but I definitely appreciate the fact that they are kind of pushing this green initiative as well. So it's super nice to see that. And let's get right inside as we open it up just like this. Live without limits, of course, you can see and read this as well, but we are gonna get right into it. We take phone cases seriously. And if you've seen any of Mouse's brand, uh, marketing, you can definitely tell that they really do. Right here, we do get a little warning card, which is nice to see considering that the cases do run magnets now. Of course, I really do push that every case needs a MagSafe, and I do believe that, but it can mess with pacemakers and things like that. So it's always something to keep in mind if you're someone who happens to use these kinds of things. But we can set this to the side now. I'm gonna go ahead and throw the price for this case up on the screen right here, just so you can see. And here we get the case itself. Now this is going to be one of their Clarity series, which are like their clear cases. You see right here, it is a very nice clear case. You can already see, of course, there's that MagSafe and a very crystal clear back. So absolutely love to see that. And this one does have the black border, as you can see. And then that MagSafe ring to match. Looking over on the inside is where you can see all of that impact protection, which is pretty much lined along the entire inside of the case, just except where the, the buttons are pretty much. It is going to be their air shock material. It's this nice green. And you can even kind of feel that it's a little softer. So it is going to provide some very nice protection love to see that it's in all the corners which are very important to protect but that is really it let's go ahead and grab the phone which is the iphone 15 pro right here as you can see we're going to snap it right into this case a very snug fit which is easy to tell right off the bat you can see we're going to go ahead and wipe this down a little bit since it is a clear case of course it is going to catch some fingerprints lightly but when it comes to the mouse cases, definitely not something to be upset about. So as you can see right here, that is really what you're gonna be looking at. It is a clear case, doesn't look too wild, but of course it's got that mouse technology in it. So let's go ahead and get right into some protection. Looking over at the front, at the back, sorry, the camera lenses, I've noticed they have a very different kind of lip going on. If you see here, it almost looks like there's no lip at all. So this lens is like kind of exposed and it makes you worry a bit. That is because there really is no lip right here on the inside. But if you work your way out over to the top, you can see there is. So if we look at it this way, that lip really only exists at the top and the outer edge of these lenses. It does protrude very nicely. So you can see your lenses are still going to be protected right there. You really have nothing to worry about. It's just the inside and what I've noticed this is nice for is it doesn't interfere with larger MagSafe accessories. And when you're holding your phone and you have your hand like this, you don't constantly bump your finger into that lip. So definitely nice to see and a welcome change in my opinion. Now let's go ahead and try out the wobble test. Really interested to see how this works due to that new design. So down here at the bottom, we're normally going to be typing. Really no wobble, just like we see with every other case. As we work our way over to the top, you do still get some wobble for sure. You definitely still do in that top left corner, but it is not anything crazy like we see with some other cases. I would say they've definitely cut down on the wobble and I think it is because of that new design. So it's definitely a welcome change for me. Over on the front side of the case, you can see if you're looking down here at the center where my finger's at, there's almost no lip, but you have to look over here at the top and the bottom. There's kind of, like a smile to this case, which I definitely appreciate. I think it's a good design. A lot of other cases have this design and I'm a big fan of it because when you're swiping from the sides of your phone, or like for those gestures to go back or anything like that, it is very easy to do that. You're not constantly running into a giant lip that is getting in your way. So I love to see this. And as for the fit of this case, we have to go ahead and test out the fit. 
So right here you can see, despite it having less material and no lip on the side, it is still a very rigid material. It is not going to be pulling out or anything like that. Even where the buttons are right here, it's extremely stiff. You can see my thumbs, how hard I'm pulling right there. Definitely some nice material over on the top and the bottom. So right there, really no pull over the top. You gotta pull pretty hard just to get it to lift a little. And then at the bottom where that port is at, really no pull either there. So nice to see that. And moving over to the sides. See right here, they have a dedicated button for the action button. Really nice to see that. I definitely think I prefer the button over just a cutout. So let's go ahead and test this out. Super nice and tactile button right there. Some cases that do have dedicated buttons for the action button feel pretty stiff, but this is definitely not the case with this one. A super nice and tactile button right there. And then we have this really nice kind of design for our volume buttons. Let's go ahead and test those out now. Also very nice and tactile buttons when it comes to your volume button. So super nice to see that. As you work our way down, you can see the little lanyard hole they have right here. And then over on the bottom, you can see a very nice cutout for your USB-C port, pretty generous. And then accurate cutouts for your speaker and your microphone right here on either side. And then on the right side, you have another cutout for a lanyard. So you can put on either side, depending on your preference and then your volume button. Let's go ahead and test this out as well. Super nice and tactile right there. So no complaints with any of the buttons and then over on the top, completely closed off. Something else that is definitely nice to mention or important to mention is the material of this case. Some clear cases are very slick in the hand. Some of them are really slippery that is not the case with this one it is a nice gummy material so it has some decent grip but i've noticed it also doesn't stick to your clothes like your jeans or your pants when you're putting it in and out of your pocket it does not stick so super nice to see the material that they're using on here now let's go ahead and move on to some magsafe testing starting with the spigen omag ring as always which is a phone grip and stand in one we can go ahead and snap this on and see how it does so it snaps on pretty easily right there and you can see that this phone is not going anywhere, even with some pretty rough shaking. Let's go ahead and set it down and see how it does. See tapping away, it is not going anywhere, just pushing the entire phone alongside the desk. You have nothing to worry about right there. Of course, this accessory does have a silicone back, which tends to stick very well to the back of clear cases but I'm not gonna knock it any points for that. It adheres extremely well right here. So let's move on to the Apple battery pack. And we're gonna go ahead and test wireless charging as well as some strength with this one. I'm gonna snap it on. It does wirelessly charge just fine as you can see. And something I wanna note is that even though this battery pack doesn't come up high enough to interfere with the lip, if you have something that's larger, normally you wouldn't be able to use it because it would sit above the lip and put your battery pack at an angle almost even if you have a larger one that has to sit higher something like that you can see you're still going to be fine still charges just fine at that angle so i can go ahead and move it down and you're just fine just something to keep in mind and another reason i'm a big fan of the new design but as you can see right here it sticks very well of course this does also have a silicone backing material so if you have the battery pack, you have no issues with this case at all. Okay, false drop right there. And we did lose our battery pack. Let's try it again. See if it happens again. Okay, it did come off right there. You can see the circle for the magnet. Kind of shook it back into place. And there it is again. So maybe from a kind of small drop, I don't think the battery pack would fall off, but if you have it at waist height, maybe a little higher than that, maybe you're on a phone call and it slips out of your hand, the battery pack might come flying off. Just something to keep in mind. If you drop your phone with the battery pack on, you might have to pick this up as well. Not a total knock, but just something to remember. Now for the Apple leather wallet, I'm gonna go ahead and snap this on. Do get that nice little animation. 
And this wallet does not have a silicone backing material. It is all just leather along the back, as you can see. But it does still stick very well. I can definitely feel the magnet strength right there when you're swiping it across. As for a false drop, some pretty hard hits right there. And it is not budging at all. So I definitely trust this case with my wallet. I definitely think that if you drop it with your wallet, it is going to hold on to it very well. Since it's not as heavy as the battery pack is, it's not going to fly off as easily. So definitely nice to see that. But now moving on to the big test, we have the Nomad Base 1, which is a very heavy charging base. It is made of all glass and metal with a MagSafe puck integrated into it. And it's a one pound base. I'm going to see if this phone case can lift it. I'm set it down right here. It does wirelessly charge just fine as you can see and let's get right into it only touching the phone not the base itself and of course not even surprised it can lift this heavy base we're going to see if it can go ahead and turn it on its side even and it definitely can as you can see right there see you can shake it got a tiny bit of shake so definitely not the strongest magnets we've seen we've seen a couple cases that can kind of throw this base around but definitely nothing too bad. I'd probably give these magnets like a 7 out of 10. 7 to 8 out of 10. Definitely nothing to slouch at, but not the strongest we've seen so far. So that is pretty much it for this one, guys. I'm going to go ahead and give you a little look around the case one more time, and then we'll call it a day. So back to our camera. Of course, there's no lip on the bottom and the inner side. But if you turn it this way, you can see there's a lip on the top and the outer edge so you got really nothing to worry about when it comes to your camera's protection moving over to the front we do get a decent lip over on the top and the bottom of the case but very minimal on the pretty much middle of the phone that is mostly for your gestures they make it really nice and easy to get there and then all tactile very easy to press buttons for your action button and your volume button lanyard hole on the left side and then down here on the bottom, we get a very nice cutout for your USB-C port, as well as for your speaker and your microphone. And on the power button side of the right side, you get another lanyard cutout, that very tactile button. And then over on the top, completely closed. And then the back is completely clear. So it, that is really all there is to it. Also a very nice grip to the case, despite it being a clear case. So nice to see that. But that is really it for this one, guys. I hope you all enjoyed it. If you did, remember to hit that like button down below. Remember to subscribe if you want to see more. I'm going to be doing a ton of these videos, and I'm hunting down the best case for the iPhone 15 Pro, and we are definitely going to find it. So stick around for that. If you have any recommendations for cases or anything like that that you want to see on the channel, remember to post them down in the comments below. I try my best to respond to absolutely all of you guys. It might take me a while, but I will get there. Anyways... I will see you guys in the next one.